Well, right now, Springboro police are out here patrolling the streets, but they say these crimes aren't happening out here in the open. Instead, they're tucked away in subdivisions where people tend to let their guard down. They have nothing out. David Bowman lives in Springboro and admits he's surprised by an increase of recent car crimes, but says he protects himself and his property by always locking his doors. I think it's very important to be conscious of where you are, take valuables. But police say not everyone is so careful, and recently crooks have been catching on. Stealing credit cards, like I said, laptop computers and things of that nature. So it, it climbs pretty quickly when you're talking about those kind of items. In just the last two weeks, detectives say they've had about a dozen car break ins reported, and as a result, thousands of dollars of property is missing. Typically, I mean, we, we do see a, a little bit of a spike in, in things of that nature when the, when the weather gets nice. We, our, our crime does go up a little bit, but not as much as, as what we're getting in our subdivisions right now. Springboro Police Detective Rob Marchini says that Settlers Walk and Brookside have both been hit, and most of the cases are crimes of opportunity. Uh, folks are leaving uh, laptop computers, uh, GPS units, uh, satellite radios, all in plain view. Uh, and these, these criminals are cruising around and finding the cars and opening the doors and just stealing them. And as police are cracking down, they hope drivers will lock up so this spike in crime doesn't continue through summer. And Springboro police say they hope someone out there may know who is behind these break-ins. If that's you and you can help Springboro police, you're asked to call them at 748-0611. Reporting live, Megan O'Rourke, 2 News on your side.